Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I hope those are watching this video right now doing great and having good health. In this video, I shall explain the difference between electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. And this is very important to understand the concept clearly. And before going to study, uh, this, is, this is necessary to understand the structure of galvanic cell and also the mechanism of electrolysis. In my previous video, I sequentially uploaded these things earlier. So I'm maintaining the uh, syllabus and the content of this chapter. I hope you have already watched those videos, the, the mechanism of electrolysis, the structure of galvanic cell, how it's producing the electricity and what is the mechanism of salt breeze and etc. So after, after uh, consideration of these things, now you might think what is the differences between electrolysis or electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. Think about it, in this electrolytic cell, what's going on? The chemical reaction is going on both cases but the difference is here a battery or the external electric source has been added so this is the positive part and this is the negative part so usually what's going on in electrolytic cell the electric energy is used to facilitate the chemical reaction this is very important so we know that electric energy electric energy is used we know that is used to facilitate to facilitate chemical chemical reactions so you know that previously the mechanism of electrolysis so the basic differences is that an electric energy or electric source is used to to undergo for the sort of to facilitate the chemical reactions inside the electric cell electrolytic cell and in galvanic cell chemical reactions produces the electricity so in, in this case we can say that chemical reactions chemical reactions is producing is producing the electricity so what is the basic difference first the difference is galvanic cell is producing electricity so this is actually self producing electricity and here I mean you know that this is the zinc sulfate solution this is copper sulfate solution this is zinc and this is copper metal is submerged into two different solutions and then from zinc to copper electric I mean electron is moving and I hope you have already this one I'm just giving you the, the, the basic of it so here what's going on this positive from positive charge to negative charge the electricity is going on and here due to this electricity the chemical reactions is going on so we can say firstly that electric energy is used to facilitate chemical reactions in this case and in this case chemical reactions producing electricity second options so this is the first type of difference second difference is that in electrolytic cell if you think about the anode and cathode the positive part of the electric source that is used in this electrode these are anode so this is anode so in electrolytic cell in electrolytic cell the positive part which is attached to the electrode is anode but in galvanic cell the negative part the negative side of the electrode would be anode here this is zinc we know this is zinc and this is copper and here this is anode and this is actually negative and this is positive you see that in anode this is positive and this is negative but in galvanic cell anode is negative and cathode is positive why because this is not the time to explain it i have explained it earlier before so that is why i'm just mentioning the point that in galvanic cell the anode would be the positive part i mean the positive electrode but in galvanic cell anode would be the negative electrode and then so we so we, we can say that anode is positive here and cathode is negative but in this case anode is actually zinc 
is negative and here cathode which is copper metal is positive so this is another basic differences between electrolytic and galvanic cell and three is the function number three we can say that electrolytic cell i mean uh, metal purifications metal purifications electroplating these are the process that has been done by the electrolysis or electrolytic cell but in galvanic cell it is actually the electricity producing mechanism so battery or the like lens cell you know it already because i have already explained what is the mechanism of dry cell and the structure of dry cell and what are the reactions going on so dry cell is the concept of the galvanic cell so battery is being produced from the galvanic cell and here in electrolytic cell what's going on uh, metal purifications uh, and even electroplating these are the functions going on through this process so this is very short class and short description about electrolytic cell and galvanic cell so if this is the question on your question paper scan what are the differences between electrolytic cell and galvanic cell put it like this you can show the figure or the explanation that i have explained right now you can write it down with your own way the main thing is that the understanding the concept if you know the concept clearly i hope study will be much more fun and much more easier for us all so thank you so very much see you on the next video and come up with electroplating the mechanism of it electroplating thank you so very much bye